Um, testing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, start to finish process is the very beginning. I take a photo of a friend, generally. Um, I convert that into a stencil. And then from there, I uh, hand draw and cut out the stencil and then use the paints that I make to spray it out onto like non treated papers. Uh, and then after that, I just wheat paste it onto a dying tree. And it's, I, never, I never alter where I place my pieces and I always make them before I go and wander and try and find a place. And it's almost always on um, like a like dead uh, a dead tree or something that's fallen down. I never want to put it on something alive because I want it to quickly deteriorate and add to the ecosystem rather than uh, take away from it. So I document everything in the wild before it deteriorates and during its kind of biodegradation, uh, and then I. Uh, create cell prints of the pieces in the wild because obviously they're temporary so uh, that's really the only thing that's left of them after a couple of months is the photo that I take of them which I think is pretty cool. The inspiration for it all was when I found out that um, the American artist Hula works with, entirely with paints that he makes himself and they're all um, he just did this one project where he created pastel, like oil pastels that were completely like ocean safe and did underwater portraits on like rocks and stuff like that under the ocean doing it uh, free diving and stuff, which was really cool. So I, 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 I think he is probably the biggest inspiration for what I do. Um, but once again, we both work completely differently. Like I've kind of taken working with my own paints and gone a completely different avenue than him. and. Um, and yeah, I mean, outside of that, biggest supporters are obviously my family for letting me kind of <laughs> always pushing me to chase what I am passionate about. So that's, that's it. Yeah. Yeah. That's, <laughs> that's really it. <laughs> Sick dude. And what other passions do you have other than this art? Um, other than my art, it's basically this and climbing and that's my life. Um, and I think the main transition, like I've always been an outdoors person. I've always hiked. I've always traveled. I've always gone into the back country. Um, and then I think being that, that being my background led me to want to incorporate my art into the environment, which is how it all kind of joined up and all of my passions kind of merged into one path. Yeah. So yeah, that's it. <laughs> awesome.